So now we're going to look at the GS swing or the kettlebell sports swing. And this is basically the most efficient style of swinging. So it's designed for high repetition work, should be fairly relaxed. You're still using principles like extending your legs and hips, but you're just going to do it slightly differently to be a little bit more efficient. Of course, with kettlebell sport um, and the GS swing, you definitely want to use anatomical breathing because it's far more efficient than power breathing. So, I'm going to turn on the side now. What we look for with this swing is two leg extensions. So as the kettlebell swings back, my legs extend, it'll swing just past my knees, and they'll extend again. And this gets the kettlebell moving up rather than out, which is just much more efficient. It translates better to things like your cleans and snatches as well. So as you can see, extension at the end of that back swing, and then again, just as the kettlebell passes out in front of my knees, It's really important that you get that kettlebell moving upwards for maximum efficiency. So the next thing you want to look at is your elbow. Now it looks like I might be pulling it up. I'm not. Basically all my arm is doing is following the kettlebell as it starts to move upwards. You always want to think about having the elbow higher than the kettlebell, so you don't want it to drop down. So just keeping that elbow nice and high, allowing your hand to follow the kettlebell as it moves upwards. So they're the main points of the kettlebell sport or GS swing. You want those two leg extensions so that nice rocking movement and you want the kettlebell moving up and your hand to follow and of course use the anatomical breathing for that one.